is I want something to wear on New Year's Eve that's elegant and comfy because I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm going to wear it at home, but I'm going to look really cute while I ring in the New Year on my couch in my slippers with my cute caftan top. So this is a caftan top and it's really a rectangle that's sewn up. You can see, can you see here? It's just, it's literally a rectangle. This is often made with scarves. You can put two scarves together to make a top like this. This one's short sleeve. Then what I'm going to make is going to be longer because it's winter. And I'm gonna show you a list back right here. Let me show you something. Let me grab my little mini form here. Look at her. So I grabbed a, a, just, a, just a scrap of fabric and I sewed together two rectangles and you can see, let me pull this out here. Now this one I made, here's her little arm, so it's completely open at, um, above the shoulder. So it's really only showed, sewn at the shoulder and then everything else is open. And this is what the rectangle is. It's literally a rectangle. You cut your fabric. Now it depends on the width of your fabric. This is wider than it is long, so you can see the length. But this is still mid-hip on the little dress form. It's just open at the neck. Now, I didn't do any special seam finishes. This is just serged at the end to make life easy. You could easily roll hem the whole thing and just stitch together your shoulder. Um, sometimes you'll see these where they have um, it sewn together in a couple places along this the upper sleeve, so it's sort of like a cold shoulder, so it opens and looks really elegant. Um, you can cut this more circular, so instead of having the points down here, you can sh you can um, shape that and make it more of an oval or a circle. So that's that's it. That's all it is. And I just came and came up the side here and sewed. There is this is very very easy. Let me show you the fabric I'm going to use, and then I have to make decisions about how I want my neck finish to be done. What kind of seam finishes I'm going to do? It works best in a very soft, drapey, sheer fabric. So a chiffon, a georgette, a burnout velvet, something like that. So this is the one I'm going to use today. I, this is out of my scrap pile. I actually ordered fabric for this project and it got delayed and it's still not here. And it's Tuesday and the video's going up tomorrow. So I'm having one of those days where I am sewing, editing, etc. The day before the video goes up, which I hate to do. I usually have them a month ahead, but the move and the renovations have gotten me a little behind. So I'm going to be sewing a lot. This is my pretty fabric though. You can see the width. So if I, so if this is the middle of my body, you can see this will be about three quarter sleeve. Now I'm not going to keep the selvage edge. This selvage edge is going to go away and I'm going to finish that off. The easiest way to do this is to cut two rectangles, completely finish both rectangles like they are scarves, and then you just sew them together in the spots that you want. You want. So you just sew your shoulder, sew a little underneath. Now this one that I'm wearing, a lot of times they're just straight. This one has a little casing and a drawstring so that you can fit it. Sometimes you'll see where they have um, almost like a buttonhole on the side where you can bring a tie through to tie it to get, make it a little more fitted. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that. That's something you can add after the whole thing is put together. So I'm going to actually just cut my two rectangles and start seam finishing everything. I think the way I'm going to do it is serge and turn once instead of doing a traditional rolled hem um, on it. But it's so pretty and I need to give it a press. It's been in storage and wadded up. And it doesn't look too bad in the camera, but I can see lots of little wrinkles. I have plenty. I have more than I need. I could make a full caftan dress out of this if I want to, but I think I'm going to make a hip length top out of it. And then um, I'll have a little left over if I want to make just a good old fashioned scarf or something else. It would also make a really pretty little uh, shell, like shell cami to go under something. So I love this fabric. Scrap from somewhere, don't know when I remember the fabric, but I have no idea where I got it. So, all right, let me press it and then I'll show you the um, laying out. It's, I'm cutting two rectangles. <laughs> it's not exciting at all. Now you could leave it as one big rectangle, measure where you need your neck to be, <clears throat> cut out the neck hole, bias the neck hole, turn it under. You could do it that way if you want to, but I think I'm gonna go the route like I did with this little girl and I'm just going to do two rectangles and sew it together in the spots that I want. There's so many options, but I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I have to decide if I want to fit it or not. I may like it just soft and drapey with no fitting. And I think I'm going to actually put it on first and then make that decision. 
So to the cutting table. I'm going to stand up and step back so you can see here's the bottom of my, cutting my head off, here's the bottom of my um, shirt, my little tunic, and you can see how it's just sewn and split it up with the side. This is very much <clears throat> how I'm going to do it. Just have a little short seam so it splits open. Um, but I kind of like this length. It's almost long enough that I could wear a legging with it if I wanted to. So I think I'm going to go just a tiny bit longer and I might adjust it a little bit so that the back is a little longer than the front because it's just two rectangles so I can I can just drop them. So I'm this one I just measured from the shoulder coming straight down and it is 31 inches finished. So I'm going to cut maybe 34 inches, give myself a little extra. I could also cut one longer than the other. So one, the front could be 34 and the back could be 36 just to give myself a little tail on the back if I wanted because I always need a little extra length in the back. So I'm gonna go cut my rectangles. It's about a yard, two yards you could easily make this depending on how tall you are. I'm in the sewing room or in my cutting space and I've um, I pulled a thread to cut it so it's perfectly straight. I did not want um, to use the edge that what came cut because it was this off. Can you see it was skinny and real wide at one end. I actually started to pull and it pulled straight through. It wasn't enough. I had to come down deeper. So now I have nice straight rectangles. I did cut one two inches longer than the other. Um, just for the back, so that'll be the difference between the front and the back. And now I'm going to cut off my selvage and serge my rectangle all the way around and hem my rectangle all the way around. And then we'll start putting it together. All right, I've pressed my rectangles and I am now just serging off my selvage edge. And this is how it looks. And then this is just gonna get turned back and turned back and stitched like that. Very simple. So I'm going to do that for both rectangles. I'm just going to search all the way around and finish it off. Okay, this is how it looks as I turn under and stitch. And I'm just going to do this all the way around. I'm starting with the sides. So I'm starting, if you look at this one, I'm starting on the side here. And then I'm going to come back and turn under the top and the bottom. A few minutes later and I have two scarves. One is two inches longer than the other and I have taken one of them and I just fold it in half um, along what's going to be the top edge. If you're doing this on a fabric like this, sometimes the fabric is directional. So pay attention, you don't want to end up with like the front upside down. So you just watch your uh, pattern. I thought this one was directional, but it's not. The flowers flip both directions. Um, so I'm in good shape there. I found my center and put a pin and then I measured out approximately 15 inches total. So about seven and a half on each side. This is going to be sort of like a boat neck. It's just going to be real open like this. And I'm going to line up both pieces on top of each other so that my neckline is lined up. I just want to make sure my head will go through and then I'm going to stitch together on the shoulder. And I haven't decided how much of the shoulder, this is all the shoulder there is, so I think I'm going to do the whole thing. And all I'm doing is butting it up against each other and I'm going to zigzag it um, to each other. It's not going to be very noticeable. It kind of will disappear, but I'm going to, I'll show you a close up at the sewing machine of what that looks like. So I'm going to do my shoulder first and then I'm going to come back and under the arm, we're just gonna do a straight stitch like this, about how long I want my side seam. I don't want a super long side seam. I want it to be able to split open at the side at the bottom. So just a little short side seam and that's it. It's done. So let me show you how I make my little shoulder seam real quick and then I'll show you the side seam. And then we're gonna try it on and see if I wanna do any other zhuzhing up. This is something that's very easy to add to and if I had it, I would have done it put like a beautiful satin band along the sleeve or along the bottom. Like you can, you can do so many interesting things. Look at this one. This one has, um, it's all embroidered, all embroidered around it and on the hem too. So you can make it as plain or as um, fancy as you want. It's up to you. And I have another one, a white one that I can't find that I love that has little tassels down in the corners that's really cute too. So you can got lots of options. Um, for something super simple, you can really make this personal and decorate it up. 
Okay, to the sewing machine, to zigzag. Just a little quick close up. I just did a little tack to uh, hold the two pieces together. This is uh, where I had pinned. I have another pin back here. This is the other shoulder where I will start. And I just have them butted up against each other and we're just doing a zigzag. Now normally I do not like a zigzag to show. And this could have been straight stitched and then you could have come back and top stitched later, but this is how I'm going to do it this go round. And that's what it looks like back there. Again, you don't have to do it this way. You can choose to do it. You could have sewn this together first, then press this open and top stitched each row, which would have looked great. You wouldn't see any of this, but I'm treating this like two scarves. So if you buy two scarves and you're gonna make a shirt, this is the easy way to do it. You could also slightly overlap and top stitch it. So you have a third row of top stitching. Lots of options. Now I can do this where I have a little stitch here and I leave it open and have another stitch and so that it's um, kind of gives you the cold shoulder effect if you want it, but I'm just gonna stitch mine shut, I think. Next, we have to decide how far in we need for our side seams and how far down from the shoulder. So I've measured down 11 inches and this is just up to you. How wide do you want, how open do you want this where your arm comes through? Um, if you want it fairly fitted, and you, it should be kind of loose. So this is my 11 inches down, which gives a 22 inch armhole, and then six inches from the side, and I've pinned them together so they don't separate. I've come over, so right here's where I'm gonna start, and I'm just gonna sew down a short little seam. All of this is just gonna be open at the side after I'm done, so I'm gonna do this to both sides, and this will just be tacked and straight stitched. So just back stitch this little short seam, and then I'll see if I wanna make it any longer, but I don't think I do. The one I'm wearing is quite short and I like it that way. Um, I just think it's cute and it flows nicely, so I'm gonna do the same for this. Getting ready to do the straight stitch, and I just wanna remind you, this side seam is sewn right side out, so wrong sides together. So you're sewing your a flat rectangle. So here's my starting point, and you can see I'm just gonna sew straight down and stop here. If it makes it easier, put a little piece of tape or something Six inches out, this is six inches is how far I'm sewing from the edge. Whatever you need to make it easy for you to get your seam nice and straight. And you could even make this slightly angled if you want to. You What you don't want to do is dip it in too much and back out because you have to get this over your shoulders, etc. And it may be difficult to do if you make too much of a curve here. But you could definitely have a slightly curved seam. So you can see here's my neckline. And you, I could bring that in a little bit if I wanted to because you can kind of see my... my uh, tank top underneath there, but I actually don't mind it. And you can see here's this, here's my square. This is it. Talk about simple and easy. Now, the one I was wearing has a little um, band on the inside and a, and a drawstring so you can pull it in and cinch it, which I do like. I, I kind of tend to like a fitted of a silhouette than this. This is, does not have much silhouette, but boy, talk about easy and comfy and throw it on and could easily wear a long sleeve or a turtleneck under this. Um, or I have a tank top on right now. Isn't that cute? Very, 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 very easy. Fast little project. I would, I have fabric I ordered that's a knit to do this in again. So I definitely will do another simple top like this. I might do one that's more of a circle or might be more fitted, might have some shearing. I have a couple fabrics coming that didn't arrive in time for this project today, but this is it, and I did make it a little longer than that, just a couple of inches, and you can see here's my little side slit. Okay, this is, I think it's like 10.30 in the morning, so about an hour is how long it took me to do this. It might take you longer. If you go buy two scarves, this is a 10 minute shirt. Like you just stitch it where you want it and done. I've seen it also where people have sewn ties, like ribbons, and tied it together where they wanted it along the shoulder and then just stitched it on the sides. I've even seen it where they just do the shoulder and then use a belt type thing to tie it at the side. So you have lots of options as far as how to wear it, but talk about easy. So I might be wearing this New Year's to ring in the New Year. That's what I'm thinking anyway. The fabric I had ordered was gold and black, which is what I really want. And I also ordered a silver one. I really wanted that kind of metallic look for my New Year's at home on the couch. <laughs> but this is pretty cute. That's it for today's project. I'll see you next week for another fun sewing video.